Hello again, Izzy from DigitalGoja.com showrooms. I've looked at some of the questions on some of our blogs and customer service questions and I've noticed that there is a trend of beginners that are having issues with synchronization of their flash and the main question is why am I getting all these dark areas in my image when I'm using my flash and I'm going to show you why. It has to do with your synchronization. As always, if this video helps you, hit me up with a like button underneath and subscribe to our channel for future sessions and tutorials such as this. So here I happen to have a Nikon D3200. This could be recreated with any digital SLR that's on the market. And I have a very popular flash, the Altura Photo Universal Flash. Now, when you're working with a universal flash such as this, your camera has to be set to manual. You can't work it on automatic because it's not going to synchronize at all with the flash. Plus, when you set it up, you want to make sure that your shutter speed is between 160 and 1 200th of a second. Notice what happens when I set this to a higher shutter speed. So I'm going to set it to 1 500th of a second and I'm going to take a picture. So notice how this section is completely not affected by the flash because what happened is your shutter opened and closed a lot quicker than it was supposed to so the flash didn't synchronize properly. So what you have to do is you have to make sure that you stay within one two hundredth of a second. So now if I go ahead and do the same shot, there you go. It's overexposed, so of course what you need to do is change your f-stop on this camera. Happens to be on the side here. So let's open it up, close it down a couple of stops, and now you get a perfect exposure. But again, you want to make sure you maintain that synchronization speed properly so you don't have that shutter curtain opening and closing before it synchronizes with your flash. Happy shooting!